It's Thursday. Good morning and welcome to our daily prayers. Folk have been sending me in pictures and this is a beautiful one of some crocuses. I understand in Ashcombe Park, especially with the mild weather, it's been lovely and it really feels like spring is now around the corner. Thank you to a couple of folk who've sent me pictures. Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for them um, in the weeks and months to come. So any photos of anything in Weston, our two churches, but also further afield, the sea, um, parks, flowers, trees, whatever you'd like, um, do send them in and to my email and I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, to a God who made these lovely flowers and who holds the whole of creation in his hands, so we come before him to pray now. Set my heart on fire with love for you, O Christ my God, that in its flame I may love you with all my heart, with all my soul, and with all my strength, and my neighbour as myself, so that keeping your commandments I may glorify you, the giver of all good gifts. We're reading the story of Noah, Genesis chapter 7 at verse 1. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven pairs of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. You might know that this um, account of the flood is replicated in other religions of the time, um, particularly in the ones in the area that used to be called Persia, modern day Iran and Iraq. Um, faiths from that sort of area, Mesopotamia, we used to call this as well, um, talk about the flood, but the way they talk about it is quite different. So, for example, in the Babylonian myths, um, it is a group of gods who decide the flood is going to happen. Um, and actually one of this group disagrees with this proposal and plots the escape of their devotee. So there's a bit of sort of chaos and we all know what committees are like, um, and that's what's ruling the earth. Whereas in our passage, although it's a tough decision God is making, we're clear about what God is doing. There is one God, not a committee, and he is clear and he has good purposes in mind. Let's pray together. Father, thank you that you are one God. We don't have to be confused by relating to several in that sense of the disagreement that can result in a committee. And thank you that your purposes for us are good. And so we look to you and we trust in you today. Space for our own prayers. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>